welcome back to this channel guys in this video i'm going to teach you how you can achieve those really nice uh, reflections inside of your animations as you might have seen in my glitch logo animation i'll put the link in the description if you want to check out that animation um, so basically we'll be creating that same reflection inside uh, this video so this right here is a simple animation i'm not going to go through how to create this animation it's quite simple i have done uh, quite a few tutorials on how to create uh, modern text animations already so it's quite simple animation and now we're going to add those reflections inside this animation so for that we have to create a new composite shot and you can rename it to whatever you want i'm going to rename it to reflection and click on ok let's drag in our animation comp inside this reflection duplicate it and rename it to animation reflection Put it at the bottom and let's move forward and i'm just going to drag it down like that so now we have a reflection like that so the next step is to bring in the floor texture image i'll provide the link in the description so you can use it as well and bring it onto the timeline right click on it and click on make composite shot select these two options and click on ok and let's go back to our reflection comp and here we can just turn this off and now we have to create a new grade layer and you can have you can put this in between these two animation composite shots and on this grade layer we are going to apply an effect called set mat apply it on this grade layer with controls and in the set map we set the source layer to flow texture and mat source to luminance and blend to subtract All right then in the animation reflection comp we have to apply an effect called blur search for blur and apply it on this layer expand the blur and you can play with different values of the radius so you can see that we have already have these nice reflections going on in our scene and yeah you can just play around with different values and here you can just go back to blur and increase the radius amount to get that nice blur inside your animation so you can see that it's gonna look something like that then we are going to turn this ref animation reflection layer into 3d and click on yes to add a camera and on this layer expand it go to transform and just change the rotation x to around 50 and just look something like this All right so we can add a new grid layer and we can call this cc for color correction and we can put this on top of the grid layer and we can search for curves effect apply it on this cc grid layer and we can set these channels to alpha and we can just increase this uh, you can just play around with different values right so maybe i'll just uh, you can go to float texture as well and we can make this 3d as well so if you wear this it's going to look something like that we go to transform and we will just change its rotation x and change its position as well let's just bring in forward in z space and you can just turn this off and you'll have something like this again we can go to blur in our animation reflection and just increase it to our hearts content right so i guess that's it that's how you can achieve this you just have to play around with different values to get a nice blur animation nice blur texture in this so maybe you can duplicate the blur and maybe set this the dimensions to vertical to get more blur and you can just play around with different settings and um, we can also create some uh, camera movement in our animation so if we make our animation 3d let's go to new camera and we can go to transform and we can create a keyframe on position go forward in time and we can just increase the position so that the camera just animates in z space and we can also animate the floor texture as well with position create a keyframe go to the end and just 
uh, just zoom in like that just creates a nice animation in the floor as well so uh, I guess that's it for this video um, I hope this was helpful if it was please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one